Hello and welcome to our ongoing series of conversations with people that are making a difference with how it is that we live our digital lives. Extremely fortunate today to catch up with Troy Snyder. He is the Vice President of the Consumer Division at J.D. Power, and he has been involved in the relaunch of JDPower.com, which is now available on the market and is providing new and valuable insights into the car buying process. Troy, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, Troy, tell me a little bit about uh, what is behind the, the new JDPower.com and, 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 and why it is that we're moving in this new direction. Explain to us a little bit about what is happening at J.D. Power. Sure, and, and you described it well when you used the word new. This is not a redesigned product. This is not a relaunch. This is a brand-new consumer-facing product from J.D. Power that will focus on helping car shoppers uh, review ratings and reviews for all the models in the marketplace and truly give them an understanding of what are the differences and which models rank the best in which categories and which models have won awards from J.D. Power. So this is a very different kind of car shopping website than anything that exists out there. Sure, there are other ratings and reviews websites uh, in the marketplace for consumers to consider, but this is different. Um, this is based entirely on consumer input uh, from the trusted JD Power brand, and along with that, um, we have good, clear explanations in terms of how these models differ uh, in similar categories. So it's it's a bit of a special website that we're going to be rolling out. Very interesting. Of course, J.D. Power and the autom automotive industry, are, are you can't really think of one without thinking of the other. Uh, why is this new website and this new approach that you're taking so important and necessary to the future of J.D. Power? Sure. Well, the heart and soul of J.D. Power is and always has been ratings and reviews. And this creates the launch pad for us to expand the information that we provide to the consumer marketplace. Our goal is to help car shoppers. It's a confusing world out there. Even for automotive experts, it's hard to understand what models are new, how are they different, why are they special. And this site dissects those differences and makes it very clear uh, why we believe a particular model is better than another one or deserves to be ranked higher than another one. And this platform allows us to add more tools, more content, more data in the future as we develop uh, uh, new tools to help car shoppers make uh, their car shopping experience even easier. And, of course, you've been stressing uh, since the beginning of our conversation that this really represents the points of view of people that have already gone through the process and, 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 and are then rating their experience accordingly. Um, how different is that from some of the other options? We don't have to name names or anything like that, but, but what is the fundamental difference in the approach that you're taking, and how will the consumer really have a, uh, a new resource as a result of this new launch of uh, JDPower.com? Well, first of all, this information is free. So consumers do not need to subscribe. They do not need to pay for this information. It's all free. And this is the first time that J.D. Power has been providing this level of detail to the car shopping marketplace um, and really explaining and helping to detail these TV commercials we all see each day where people tout they've won the J.D. Power Award. Well, this website pairs with those awards, if, if you will, and explains why did that particular brand or model or car win that award. We, we give that detail away on the website. So that, that's one big difference. Um, another one, like you said, is the fact that this is purely based on consumer and, and really verified owner input and feedback. Um, we do and conduct uh, many, many surveys throughout the year um, to people that have owned their vehicle for 90 days, for three years, et cetera, and we compile all that information. We put them in these nice ratings and scoring systems, and we release them out to the public. Um, this is not a test track review or an expert review. These aren't uh, cars that are tested in a laboratory. Um, this is purely a reflection of what true verified car owners 
believe and feel about their vehicle in terms of how reliable it is, um, what's the level of quality, interior, interior, how's the comfort, how do they view the safety of the vehicle, the technology within the vehicle. So this is this is information that we feel has never been provided to the marketplace before. Very interesting. So tremendous. It really is uh, uh, the full story behind the awards, which uh, have uh, already engendered a lot of trust in, in the decisions that consumers make as they make these car purchases. Um, so, Troy, you've put a lot of emphasis into the type and the quality of the data that you're making available to audiences today who are interested in buying cars. Tell us a little bit about what is the story behind the numbers that you're making available to car buyers. Sure, and that's a great question. I'm, I'm glad you asked it because that is specifically what makes us unique. Um, the amount of information that's available to car shoppers today is overwhelming. Um, we can all probably name one or two or three websites that we would go to to do our car shopping and, and do our car research. But what is going to help make JDPower.com unique is the fact that our data, our ratings, our reviews are based on real insights from real verified car owners. These are not fabricated ratings. These are not the opinions of J.D. Power staff. These are not based on quarter-mile breaking times. We focused on what we felt was important for consumers to understand about individual models to help them differentiate them. And what we reflect and post on the new car shopping website, jdpower.com, is purely based off of owner-verified feedback and insights. Um, so these are people that actually own the car. This is not, like I said, done in a laboratory or done on a racetrack or we didn't pay experts to come up with these ratings and reviews. This is a direct reflection from verified owners. So Troy, you've, you've described a, a decision-making process that's extremely complex, uh, that has lots of moving parts, lots of variables. What is JDPower.com doing to cut through that complexity to make it easy for people to understand what it is that they're getting into as they move into the this really very important purchase in their lives? Sure, it's a that's a that's a good question. Um, it's not just a brand new car shopping website that JD Power is launching. Within it, there are two new tools that I'd like to talk about. Uh, one is our 100 point rating score, where every model in our database, we have created a 100-point scale. And you may ask, why 100-point? Well, in today's world, in today's marketplace, most cars are of high quality, high reliability, and a 5 or 10-point overall system doesn't do enough to describe the differences between models, either either within makes or within categories like coupes or SUVs. So our new 100-point scoring system gives enough information that you can clearly understand who ranks the best, how does this compare this model to another model. So that's, that's a new tool. Um, the second new tool that I described was what we call our red blade system. It's a very cool visual that very quickly a consumer can understand things like overall reliability, the mechanical scores of a model, exterior and interior scores, features and controls, how car owners feel about quality, performance, drivability. So we take that 100-point score that I had described earlier and we break it down further into deeper details using these red blade visuals so you get a real quick understanding of how verified car owners feel about these more detailed aspects. So if you're on your mobile device or you just want a quick score, you can use that 100-point system I described. If you want to spend a little bit more time and do some deeper research, that's where you get into this red blade system, and you can really understand how people felt about technology and safety and quality. So we feel like we've got the full spectrum covered for those that either just want a quick score or those that want to read and learn a little bit more, they can dive deeper. 
Um, but there are other beneficiaries as well. So in addition to benefiting the consumers, uh, this does represent a whole different lens through which to look at the automotive industry. Are there other beneficiaries uh, in the automotive community that will benefit from the uh, uh, availability of this new JDPower.com? Sure. You know, dealers, uh, dealerships, for instance, um, part of our new scoring system includes how consumers have felt about the sales process at a dealership as well as a service process at a dealership, you know, the maintenance and repair of a vehicle over time. And our research and consumer input has indicated which dealers out there across the U.S. have earned uh, what we call dealer of excellence level where um, they have taken care of the customer, they've gone above and beyond to make the experience special and much easier. You know, like I said earlier, buying a car is, it's, it's not a simple process. It's, it's emotional, um, there's a lot of options out there, and when you have a dealer out in the marketplace that understands uh, the challenges of car shopping and, and how emotional it can be and how there may be more than one decision maker involved in the process, um, we wanted to recognize those dealers and also point that out to the consumers. So the the highly ranked dealers out there in the U.S. get exposure on this new site as well. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, that feedback that you're getting from the uh, from the audience is that going to also help you provide? Is there is there additional research and insights that JD Power will be, will be able to glean from? Uh, sort of the the digital interactions that you're having with these uh, audiences? Absolutely. So, of course, with any product launch, there are phases. There are release phases. And we do have a phase two and a phase three uh, launch uh, scheduled for this particular product. And in those phases, um, we will be introducing a direct consumer input tool where consumers, as they are researching models on this new website, and if they have experience with one of these models, um, as opposed to doing the traditional survey that we do here at JD Power, we will allow the consumer direct input right on the site to give us their feedback um, regarding comfort and features and performance and style. So those things will all be gleaned directly from the consumers with this product as well. We will use that input as as research and develop content that is relevant to car shoppers, what car shoppers are demanding today, and we know that that changes over time. So this, this website is going to be a two-way street in terms of communication. It's not just J.D. Power uh, posting the latest ratings, reviews, and award winners. We're going to allow the consumer to directly uh, provide feedback to us as well. So this really, in a lot of ways, is a, a further manifestation of the digital transformation that we're not only seeing in the automotive industry, but in a lot of ways that J.D. Powers is leading through its own digital transformation. Is this a reflection of the evolution of J.D. Power itself as well? Absolutely. Um, and this product release is a perfect example of where J.D. Power as a company is headed. Um, our world is primarily focused on data, but how we deliver that data, how we uh, uh, glean data from the marketplace, that is all changing. So um, we operate in real time now. Um, our data uh, contributes to an AI cloud of not just interaction, but also behavioral type data. And all of this data, as we form it, our jobs as, as data engineers, if you will, our jobs is to look at the data, determine what the marketplace needs, and build digital products that address those needs and not just satisfy those needs, but go above and beyond. So we're, we're striving to be a, a leader in the consumer marketplace as well, not just in the commercial world, but also in the consumer world. So. That's that's where this team is focused currently. Outstanding, Troy. What a what a wonderful description. A very exciting product. A brand new resource for consumers interested in having more confidence and more insight into the car buying process. Troy, thank you so much for putting this into perspective for us. My pleasure. Thank you.